Hey guys, welcome to KB Tutorials. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can pick a date from a date picker or the calendar using JavaScript. And also, we are going to learn how we can remove attributes and how we can set value to the attribute using JavaScript in Selenium WebDriver. As you can see here, I'll just show you uh, the web page first, then we'll see the working demo. So, if you can see here, this is actually not enabled okay if i just right click and inspect this you could see this this is read only property how we can remove this attribute okay like this then it becomes readable then how we can select the date using javascript we have already implemented the selecting the date uh, directly using uh, iterative process but we are going to implement using JavaScript in this tutorial and also if you see here this is also a very simple so I am directly selecting a date from the uh, date picker here okay so instead of that I am going to show you how we can select using a JavaScript okay so I will just show you the uh, working demo then we'll see how we can implement this from the scratch. Let me give me a second here. Just yeah. Now it is ready to run. So let me run and show you the output first. So let the application load completely. Now you could see uh, it directly selected this date, right? Instead of writing the entire code, I have just written two lines of code. That's it. We are gone. Okay. So I way I have set my Chrome driver path. I have initialized my Chrome driver, and I am navigating to the uh, URL. Now to do this, we need to have a JavaScript object. I am taking this one so once you have a javascript object you can simply use execute script right here you need to this one right you need to set the value to this uh, input field right so I will learn how to set the value to the attribute so to do that we need to identify this element using uh, by class I will identify this element guys so my class is form control So here also we learn to set attribute value syntax as well. Dot get elements by class name. Okay. I have already identified it. I can use this class name, right? This is this object. Now I have to set the value. So for that I'll use set attribute to set any value to an attribute we need to use this function in javascript and what is the attribute that you want to set value and what is the value that you want to set something like uh, the value I am going to set is let me take from here
now let me execute this now let the application load completely In some exception came let's see what is that okay elements M -E -N -T -S. elements by class name yeah now you could see the value has been set properly right cool now it's time to enable this one is a read only property i'll just show you this is a read only property right so uh, i'll remove this read only property then i'll set the same value here as well okay so i just let me copy this one paste it here instead of 10 this is the next input field so obviously it will be 11 then to remove the attribute simply use remove attribute function and what is the attribute that you are going to remove read only is the attribute that i am going to remove read only simply go there and see the attribute properly which you want to remove this is an attribute read only right so just kept it there that's it now i want to set the value once it is enabled for uh, editing so i am setting this value above selector i have given i am set the same value now let me try to execute this hope you have understood how we can set an attribute value and how we can remove an attribute using javascript executor in selenium web driver let's see now you could see it enabled and i could set the value here okay so uh, that's it from my end i hope it's informative for you guys let me know if you have any doubt from the comment section so that i can help you more on this Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And also do explore all the tutorials in the same playlist guys. They were close to uh, 40 videos in Selenium playlist. Uh, I hope it's informative for you guys. If you go there and watch those tutorials also. And do consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much.